today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the comic block subscription box for the month of September. In having a mystery box of comic books sent to your house every single month, click the link down below and you can subscribe to Comic Block. On the very side of the box, you can go to www.comicblock.com. You can also go to Facebook at the Comic Block, Twitter, and of course, Instagram. Without further ado, let's grab ourselves a knife and let's open up this month's box. Find out what comic books we got inside. And before we have a look at the comics, let's have a look at a supplied t-shirt that we also got inside. We open it up and inside it says Psychotics, the lot of them. It's kind of cool. Not really sure the reference to be honest, but a, a neat looking sh uh, shirt to say the least. This is also uh, on the side here, a Nerd Block exclusive, www.shirtpunch.com. Save 10%. Use this promo code Best Shirts. So we got ourselves a T-shirt. I always appreciate T-shirts. Put that to the side. We also got ourselves a Green Lantern ring, recommended for ages 14 and up. It, it says it's a light-up ring. Does it actually light up? Let's find out. We'll open it up. It doesn't appear to be die cast. Spot's got a die cast version of this ring too, which is kind of cool. But this one lights up. And I'm not really sure. Oh, there's a little tab on the side. Let's pull the tab. There we go. That obstructs the power from the battery to be lighting up the light. And I also see there's a little light on the side, which I think we just press. And it did nothing. Hmm, I don't see, maybe it doesn't want to light up. Maybe the battery's gone on it, we're not quite sure. It doesn't seem to want to light up though. Maybe it needs, it needs willpower. I don't know, but it, it's a nice ring. I just wish it would light up though. No, see, oh, there it is, there it is. I got a little too quick on the trigger. So you can see it lights up. Ring. Here we go. Put it to the side. Now let's have a look at the comics that we got inside this month's box. And we got ourselves a bunch of them. Just trying to do my best to reach and grab all of them and then we'll kind of just go through them together. Also got ourselves a card. We'll look at that in a second as well. We'll put that right there. First things first is Deadpool versus Thanos. It says, it was a joke, Marvel. I was joking when I said I wanted to fight Thanos. That's kind of funny. It's issue number one. It also includes a bonus digital edition. $3.99 for a comic. And that's $3.99, by the way, US. Comic books are not cheap anymore. That's cool, though. I'm looking forward to reading that. Deadpool versus Thanos. Moving along, the next issue we got is Mad Max Fury Road Part 1 by Vertigo Comics. This also appears to be a Nerd Block exclusive cover like that. We also got ourselves, what is this? Mirrors Edge Exordium. This is issue number one of six. And lastly, Danger Girl. I haven't seen Danger Girl in a while. This is Danger Girl number one. Must be a re-release, a re I guess a re-relaunch of Danger Girl. I think it was Chris Claremont that originally drew, I think. Danger Girl. I miss his artwork. It kind of goes hand in hand with Danger Girl. This new artist, don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with the artist, but uh, I kind of miss the old artwork. This also appears to be a comic block exclusive. Finally, we got ourselves some cards. It says, behold, a new block dedicated to sci-fi every month featuring brands such as Star Wars, Back to the Future, Star Trek, Doctor Who, The X-Files, Starship Troopers, Battlestar Galactica, Planet of the Apes, Stargate SG-1, Firefly, Terminator, and many, many more. Uh, the first sci-fi, sci-fly, sci-fi, ah, I was looking at Firefly, uh, block ships this November. Reserve your place in history at nerdblock.com starting September 28th. Sci-fi block, looking forward to that. Uh, the first block includes the Star Wars Force Awakens Funko Pop, a celebrity autograph, and more. Definitely be looking forward to that. 
And then finally, a reference card telling us exactly what we got inside. We got the Thanos, uh, Deadpool versus Thanos. On the other side, Danger Girl Renegade exclusive variant cover, Mirror's Edge Exordium, uh, the Mad Max Fury Road exclusive variant cover, a Green Lantern ring, and finally, Saga. A space opera fantasy world of Saga has never looked better. Prince Robot the Fourth lends his regal presence to make a fashion statement suitable for any galactic wars you may be involved in. Kind of cool. If you guys would like to definitely have a comic block sent to your house every single month, click the link down below, www.comicblock.com, and you can have one of these boxes sent to you every single month. What surprises awaits our hero? The only way you'll find out is subscribing to Hero Block. Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at the Hero Block September 2015 subscription box. Certainly stay tuned though, guys. Spot's gonna have a lot more subscription boxes heading your way. Thanks for watching as you always do. See you next time.